Hey guys and welcome back to the Ticket Light server. It is still in, you know, stability testing mode, but I am accepting more people because five people won't be online at the same time, of course. Uh, at the moment I have, I think, three people. Yeah, we have uh, Philaris, Slayer82 and Doc 89 They will test out my server and people are actually doing quite a lot now. I mean, uh, when was last time we were here? I think uh, about a week ago. The server's been on now for, uh, remove this, I don't want to be embarrassed, I did not die. <laughs> I died saving people, that's my job, I've been flying in TARDISes and jumping through dimensions to save people who were dumb enough to go in there. So, don't blame me. Um, I am busy on my own little thing, of course I am not doing anything anymore in TechIt because I'm done with it. Uh, but I am building a beautiful castle at the same time, it's not done yet, of course. And someone's always, something's done something, oh wait, let me just say hey guys, hey guys. Because uh, I am a kind of, you know, a social person. It says here, use this to get to use this to get to the warp hub. You can get to other homes. Um, so yeah, I don't know who made this. This is pretty neat. This is pretty neat. You just go into here. There's like this little room, and then up, boom. And then you have like the gamer's tower and Quasit's home and Joshua's house and Dockin's village to scribe located here. Dockers home, Dockers village, bug mine, do not enter, that is the limbo. Many people have been jumping into limbo on my server and I have to save their ass every single time, of course. Uh, Offic bears home, I haven't seen you online for a while, guy, get online before your place gets taken. Ferris is home and of course my castle, the epic castle. So, let's have a look here, um, I think somebody was like, let me have a look up here. No, no nothing interesting here, let's just block that back up. Sorry, I don't have any red brick anymore. <laughs> um, so let's go and tour everything. And then from next week, I think we're going to start interviewing all the people. So let's go to his home first. That will be number one. Let's check out what he has. Woom. Guys, if you're going to be embarrassed, what uh, I'm about to show you. I'm not going to look in the chests. That's really nice. So he has a few chests. He's got crystal chests here. Whoa. Okay, that's quite a lot. And do we, do we have here? We have an induction furnace. We have a recycler. We have an extractor, we have a charging bench, uh, a compressor, we have electric furnaces, he's going to come and jump in my face. We've got a macerator, a low bat box, oh no, it's just a bat box, a uh, geothermal facility, which are brilliant things. If you have a lava in town, they're slaying now in his iron chest. He's got an alloy furnace here. Uh, these project tables, which are awesome if you have <laughs> the right skin the right text pack because that kind of sucked last time so let's have a look around the village I think uh, Dokken and these guys live at the same place oh, it's port somewhere else which I'm not going to take a look at and let's have a look here it looks pretty bare oh it goes down underground oh god these guys have been doing a lot of work not techity but they have been doing a lot of work and it's beautiful to see this kind of stuff and here we go enter into a beautiful cave Oh, I like the system this guy has made. That is pretty awesome. Right, let's get out of here before I get my ass kicked. Even though I'm in creative mode, and I can't get my ass kicked. Because I'm God, you know? I'm the God of the server. Which is kind of a true story. So, let's get out of here. Let's find our way home. Does there any machines up here? There is one guy. Uh, has a little tower with a lot of machines, which we'll be checking out. Well, no, it's not a lot of machines. He has a lot of automation. I mean, this guy, seriously, it's pipeless. Good things, but there are no pipes in there. And the other guy has, you know, basic things, but he's got that whole pipe system. So, and that's what we're here to do. We are here to take a look at all the things, you know, all the techity things. Because I don't want to show you guys anymore. I want you guys to learn from others, from my, from our fellow family, from our fellow plague. And that's what we're going to start doing. Learning from all these people. And that's when the interviews are going to start happening. So we went to a uh, Felaris's home. Now let's go to the Gamers Tower. This is the guy with the basic machines, but the piping system. And quite a lot of organization here. And if I turn around, oh, it's leaking. I think you need to call a plumber. Okay, what the hell? What? 150 Nikolites. What the hell is this all about? Calm down. Okay, you've got a pretty uh, deadly shoot on. I love this. He has this. Yeah. Oh, but somebody fixed it. That's lame. I don't like it anymore. Oh, okay. 
So we have some gems here, blocky stuff, ores, organic stuff, pretty much. What is this? See, this is something that we... I think there's like 42 iron gold ingots in here. Should we ask him? The gamer. I don't really want to wait for an interview. What is this? What is this? Maybe I should have just left it to the end of the interview because I don't even know what's here. 1 times 64 is 46 barrels. What? Oh, um, dude. You've kind of given me a gold ingot. It's not really... It's behind you. There you go. So only he can take him out, apparently. It says here 18 diamonds. Okay, so that's pretty cool. This is a light. That's neat. Left click on the barrel. Nah, but if I left click on the barrel, your barrel is going to be dead. Okay, what's this all about? A fisher. As a fish out of him because he has to turn it on. Turn it on. Nope. I'm going to have to wait until the interview for that. What the hell is this? No modular power suit items found in inventory. Make some. We recommend experimenting with steel plates and basic circuits. These are all hoppers. And uh, what the hell is this? What is this? See, there are so many things that I didn't know about this game. And here we go. Here's the normal stuff, but... Well, not really. He has automatic crafting tables, which, you know, automatically crafting, you know, electronic circuits. And we have, he uses a lot of hoppers and also these kind of pipes. So, this guy is actually pretty pro at what he's doing. I can't wait to interview this guy. He's going to probably learn us quite a lot of things. Let's follow him upstairs, probably to his bedroom. Yeah, I knew it was going to be his bedroom. So, that's pretty much for him. He's got a whole nice towel going on here. Out that hurts him not me of stuff I can't wait to interview maybe you'll be number one who knows who cares because you're all gonna get interviewed anyway so let's pop back to never and let's go to the next one Kazwet's home let's have a look at that he's the first person to join my server let's see what he's progressed on uh, a few things in a chest here uh, I was about to say why can't I open his chests Bit of lag there, probably. The game is back. Uh, ah, let's have a look in here. Oh, oh, it's a two-part thing. Oh, here also some basic uh, stuff. Diamond piping. Got a hopper over there, and it's pumping downstairs. I want to check out what that is, and that's also pumping downstairs. So how do we get downstairs, guys? Uh, we could also go up here. It's pretty bare at the moment, mm, and this is pretty green. That has nothing there. So this has got rubber and silicon. Okay, so that's what he's producing around here. Uh, well, can let me out. Come on, open up. Okay, well that's not gonna work. Well, I could just bust my way out of here and not give a single care. I know the server does not enable flying, because that's what I asked for. So we need to find that teleport down again, and then we're going to go to the next person's house. Whoop whoop! Kazuwitz home, Josh's house. Let's have a look at that. He, he is far away. He's like three uh, kilometers. Oh no. He's only got three miles. Somebody lives like three kilometers away. It's sick. He's also using a lot of these barrels here. 40 times 64 is 53. I don't get that. But that's because I haven't looked at it. Uh, this looks... He's got green tiles. Nice chest. A gold chest. Also a pretty nice base here. Some dirt. I wonder if he's using that for something. Oh, he lives in a desert. Let's look at it. Oh, wow, look at that. Looks like a ship. Maybe it was supposed to be a ship. I don't know. I'll probably read in the comments later on that it was supposed to be a ship or not. And I offended him. And if I did offend you, I'm deeply sorry. There's a whole bunch of crooks over there. So he also has one of these things, the no modular power suit items found in inventory makes some. We recommend experimenting with steel plates and basic circuits. I think these are the, well, we can just grab it here. Power armor tinker table. So when you make power armor, you can uh, add uh, modules to it and make a, uh, let's have a look. See, maybe I can do it myself. Maybe, you know, uh, power. See, so if your power suits like power armor head. And then we go to there. As you can see here, as power arm heads, you click on that. And then you have your specials. You have night vision. A pair of aug augmented vision goggles to help you see at night and underwater. Uh, let the sun power you, power your adventures. Armor, basic plating is heavy. And you can see here, adds 
weight and energy storage and all this and that and it's pretty cool it's a really neat thing to play around with um, I'm not giving you the ability to have three things that's not how we do it oh he has something going on up there as well on oh, no, that solar panel he's probably using power of the Sun yes he is and that is his place just uh, experimenting with the power power suit mod that's what he's doing and I'm gonna wear my suit Oh, I don't wear my shirt, I delete my shirt, whatever. Who cares? So, oh no, there's something down here. Let's have a look what's down here. Are we interested? Bed, and he also needs to do his walls, apparently. So, off to the next one. Whoa! God, all this travelling, it makes me a little bit sick. Okay, Docker's Village. Um, Let's just go to his home. This is all a scrum... If, they're all in the same place, and he lives three kilometers away from spawn point, so this guy is... Or maybe he didn't. <laughs> I don't get it anymore! Somebody lives very far away. That much I could tell you. Let's experiment this. Um, overuse of torches, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so let's have a look. Bit of dirt there, probably put down by uh, Enderman, or maybe he wants grass. Um, okay, what what's what's with the over amount of torches? And we're back down here. Oh, well, that was pretty easy. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not closing your doors, guys. Um, I don't really wish for things to come in. What the hell is this? Let's have a look at that. What is this? Unnamed. It's unnamed, but it's pretty. Bloody cool, how much I could tell you. Probably it's from this here. What is that? This is a kinetic generator. Alright, so if you plonk this down, you get one of these gigantic things running. Wind turbines. Increase. Increase! No, it's not going to increase. But that is pretty neat. That's something you really want on top of your roof. That is cool, man. Oh, get stuck between the pipes. But as you can see here, it is the red power mod. Because of all this uh, wiring and the red power battery box thing in the jiggle. Uh, okay, so let's get down here. Sorry for breaking your roof. And like I said before, sorry that I do not close your doors. I hope a creeper does not wander into your house and go boom in your face. Gems, etc. Tech it related. Oh, these are awesome gems. An energy bridge, a blue electric engine. <whistles> now these are gems that everybody wants. Maybe they're in here. Of course they are. Shadow minimum, rubies, diamonds, emeralds. Oh, that's a lot of emeralds. Quartz dust and all that kind of stuff. Tin, iron, nickelite. Charging bench. Pretty full because of all the solar panels around here. Um, how do you charge it? You put it into a bat box and the bat box... There's nothing. He's just using this and then he's using a normal solar panel here. Now I get it. Okay, so... Um, Okay, this guy has been experimenting with uh, dimensions. I would also like to say I have in total on the server that we are running. Last time I checked, we had 427 dimensions on this server. Now, to the people who have been opening so many dimensions. Cool. Seriously, awesome, have fun. And just by the fact that my server has to run 427 dimensions without lagging, crashing or anything. is actually already a good sign that we are... Uh, you know, we're capable of running. So let's have a little bit of a look at these. Lava power land. Forest, tall trees, lightning, overall stable. Swamp table trees, mining fatigue, overall stable. Tall trees, mushroom, lightning, semi-stable. Mountain biome, mining fatigue, overall stable. This is where we went to in that episode and I got stuck for three days because I did not have this item. The linking book, which I'm going to take this time with me and I actually want to jump into one of these places mountains weakness fatigue stable tall trees small world lots of mobs semi stable glowstone desert mining fatigue mushroom cave biome mountain biome mining fatigue overall stable tall trees mushroom swamp tall trees mining forest tall trees lightning I think this one let's go and have a look at age 475 yeah that's a lot of dimensions guys Okay, right, so there are books here going back home. <laughs> he was smart because I had to save him last time. Got Woo! Okay, chill down. Let's have a look around. Woo! Glowstone everywhere. Mushroom biome everywhere. Sandstone at the top. 
We have got water, luckily. There are bats flying around. I don't really want to explore a lot. Um, should we just do it? Time, set, zero. Maybe I could do that in this dimension? Nope. Doesn't care because it's probably night overall here. Or maybe I'm just stuck somewhere. Maybe there is no open space anymore. Is that all the obsidian around it? This here? What is that? What the hell? Look at that. Holy Moses, I'm out of here. I'm quite scared. This place is demented. Oh my god, let's get out. God, well you have fun in your dimensions, mate. I hope you have fun with that. Can't wait to explore a few with you. Hopefully we don't get trapped, killed, because I can't be asked to play Time Lord again. Okay, where was that book? We can also just fly back to my castle if we have problems finding the books. I think we have problems finding the books. Yes, I like breaking things, but I always fix it. You know that, guys. Okay, let's go back to my castle. It's got a farm going on there. Rubber trees over there. That's pretty cool. That's the tower we already explored. I think this is almost the end of our tour so far and everybody who's been on our server. And then we're going to start interviewing those uh, mother truckers. Yeah, I need to really start doing this. But I'm not on here a lot. I like to leave people and let them do their thing. I love to jump online sometimes. It's not really much of a tour. I mean, I have this here. And from in here, I can, like, overview this whole place of all these people. And I've got this deadly thing up going up here. I don't know what the hell I was doing, but this is pretty deadly. <laughs> but, you know, when you're in creative mode, you can have fun. Yeah, you can't do that when you're in survival mode, can you guys? No, you can't. Well, of course you can. They probably have more fun than me. So that was Docker's place. We've visited all of them. Trust me, we already did. Bug mine. Okay, off it bear. That's the last place we're going to go. I'm not going to jump into limbo because everybody knows what limbo is and it's not really needed. Right, this is also efficient and none of your machines are working, guys. I guess maybe you have to put some steam in there, some coal or something. So he's living underground. He has decided to become a, I don't know, an orc, a dwarf or something. Maybe he has something going on here. No, he has really decided to become a dwarf and live underground. Which is kind of ideal because in Tekken it's all about machinery and all these ores that you can find underground. And, well, there you go. He's at the heart of that place. He's got some lava in here. I don't know if he's filling them himself or he's pumping them in. I don't know. This is a pump and it looks like the pump has given up. There's no more place for you to go. So this is his place. A few chests. A few machines. I think he's not online that much. Like I said, I haven't seen him online for a while. And I hope he will come online soon. Because... We have spots and I don't really want them to go to waste. And I want you to be on here and, you know, join in with the rest of the people and have fun. So, that is it. Whew. Limbo, that's the last place to go, but we're not going there. So, I'm going back to my castle. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and look at the world grow in front of my eyes without me having to even lay a finger. Now, that does make a change in the world of Minecraft. Let's have a look here. Ugh. Uh, there's someone flying over there. Should we check out the people? Should we have a look at all the people? See, he's flying over here. I don't know why he's flying. I mean, first you say you can't fly, but apparently you're flying. And you just disappeared. So I'm going to end it here, guys. So, yeah. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if, of course, like I said, I am accepting more people in. Five is not the limit anymore. Five is the login limit. But I will accept a lot more people. I'll whitelist a lot more people. Because, you know five people online all the time that never happens so there's always an empty space for you to pop in so you know add me on steam i'm not going to put down my uh, name again but my name is black Ash plague on steam and people that don't have steam add me on skype which is exactly the same black Ash plague so steam or skype black Ash plague add me um i will ask you these questions i'll ask if you have a microphone if you have skype well if you're on skype one well, voila <laughs> there you go question answered and also the new Tekkit launcher because I'm still experiencing a lot of people who uh, are using the old Technic launcher and this one requires the two build 222 I'll post a photo here that's what it is that's what it looks like you need that Tekkit launcher to log in here and once you fulfill those requirements you are welcome to join the server so guys I'll speak to you soon ciao ciao